A missile can be accidentally launched if two relays, A and B, have both failed. Now the probabilities of A and B failing are known to be 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.03 respectively. It's also known that B is more likely to fail by a probability of 0 0.06 if A has failed. Now we have these three, three following questions right here that we want to solve for. First, what is the probability of an accidental missile launch? So we'll look at the probability of accidental launch. And what does this consist of? Well, we can write this as P failing. This is, this is the probability of a launch, right? Well, the probability of a launch is when what? Well, it's when A fails and B fails, right? So if both of them fails, the missile is gonna launch. Well, when we draw like a Venn diagram for this, to have both means that they would have an intersection. So, we would have A intersecting with our B failing. Now, from here, we can look at the notes. These are in the description below the like button. But, this is going to be a formula that we can use. A, fail A, A failing intersecting with B failing is equal to multiplication, right? And what are the two different possibilities for this, right? This, is, this can be the probability of B failing because of A failing, right? Or, you can have this because we have this be multiplied because these are two separate things, the probability of A failing. And what is this? Well, we know the first one is 0 0.06, and then A failing by itself is just going to be 0 0.01. And this is going to be equal to 0 0.006. So the probability of an accidental missile launch is 0 0.0006. Now, the next question is, what is the probability that A will fail if B has failed? So remember, it's just going to be this. Probability of A failing because of B. So we're going to have to switch this. Probability A failing because B has failed. This is for another equation. When we have something that is like this, this or right here, and this coincides to how why this is written, it's basically the same thing. We're just moving some things around. We want to solve for this, not this. You'll notice that if we wanted to solve for this, we could just move things around here. What's basically I'm saying is that we're gonna have, and I'll just copy this so it's easy to see, the probability of A failing because of B failing is equal to the probability of A failing intersecting with B failing divided by the probability of this one right here, the, the because part. So probability of B failing. It's a little bit different here because this one is focusing on A, right? It's focusing on A here, focusing on it here. So since we're switching this up, B failing, we're gonna have this B failing right here. Now, if we wanted to move this to the other side, we would just divide it so you can notice how it's very similar in its formulas. This is the same outcome as this, what we have here. We know this is 0 0.006, so we can place this in here. And then we're just going to divide it by the probability of B failing, which is 0 0.03. This is equal to just 0 0.02. Next we have, are the events A fails and B fails statistically independent? This is going to be no, because probability of A failing does intersect with the probability of our B failing. So because of this, it is not statistically independent. That's how I would answer this question and anything like it.